All right, I think it's about time that I uh, acknowledge this. And I try to get rid of this advertisement. The advertisement is not working. Like I can't cancel it out. So bear with me on this one, guys. But this is ridiculous, man. Yes, God, yes. Kink belongs at Pride and I want my kids to see it. Children need to know that they can make their own make their own way. That they can make their own ways in the world. Okay, I was expecting something else. <clears throat> Children need. Okay, yep. All right, just read that. Damn it. I don't want to say the person's name. <sighs> Our family often took a train into Philadelphia, but as we rode across the bridge to attend the city's uh, pride parade five years ago, my wife's leg bounced with a nervous jitter. She squeezed my hand, worried that she might run into a colleague or be harassed by a stranger. My wife is trans and wasn't out at the time, so she typically only expressed her authenticity in the privacy of our home. That morning, she wore a green skirt and light makeup, brushing her hair all to one side. Even though we attend pride marches and protests in previous years, that day was our first celebrating openly as a family. When our children grew tired of marching, we plopped onto a nearby curb. Just as we got settled, our elementary schooler pointed in the direction of oncoming floats, raising an eyebrow at a bare-chested man in dark sunglasses whose black suspenders clipped into a leather thong. The man paused to be spanked playfully by a partner with a flog. What are they doing? No, no, I'm gonna keep myself calm because just 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 yelling obscenities is is not gonna work. <clears throat> what are they doing? My curious kid asked as our toddler cheered them on. The pair was the first of a few dozen kinksters who danced down the street, laughing together as they twirled their whips in batons, some leading companions by leashes. At the time, my children were too young to understand the nuance of the situation, but I told them the truth that these folks were, num were members of our community celebrating who they are and what they like to do. The King community has participated in pride since its inception, risking their jobs and safety to be authentically themselves in public. Still every year, as Pride Bump approaches, a debate erupts about whether kink belongs at Pride at all. Those hoping to our kink, to hope those hoping to oust kinksters often cite the presence of children as their top concern. That was point, that was pointedly uh, the case this year when Twitter urges, when Twitter uses, <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm trying to keep myself calm here, guys. That was pointedly the, the case this year when Twitter users argued that kink at Pride is a highly sexualized experience that children should be shielded from. Thousands of users supported these posts, claiming that kink at Pride crosses a line because minors also attend events. I agree that Pride should be a welcoming space for children and teens, but policing how others show up doesn't pr protect or uplift young people. Instead, Instead, homogenizing um, self-expression at Pride will do more harm to our children than good. When my own children caught glimpses of kink culture, they got to see that, that the queer community encompasses so many more uh, non-traditional ways of being, living and loving. As much as I want them to spend time in queer spaces so they can be with families like their own, I also want them to know that they shouldn't limit, limit their understanding of what relationships or expression look like to whatever, to whatever is most familiar. I want them to see that they can make their own ways in the world and know that they will be supported and celebrated by the community. 
Be careful what you wish for. That's all I'm going to say. Be careful what you wish for. If we want our children to learn and grow from the their from their experiences at Pride, we should hope that they will encounter kink when they attend. How else can they learn about the scope and vitality of queer life? Anti anti kink advocates ten advocates tend to manipulate language about safety and privacy by asserting that attendees are non-consensually exposed to overt displays of sexuality. The most outrageous claim is that innocent bystanders are forced to participate in kink simply by sharing space with the kink community, as if the presence of kink at Pride is a perverse ex exhibit uh, exhibition that kinksters pursue for their own gratification. But kinksters at Pride are not engaged in sex acts, and we cannot confuse their self-expression with obscenity, co-opting the language of sexual autonomy uh, only serves to bury the truth and, mud and muddies, muddies, mud okay, Tr truth and muddies the seriousness of other uh, conserv, oh my god, I'm messing this up, guys, I'm sorry. A seriousness of other conversations about consent. If this all sounds familiar, it's because anti-kink rhetoric echoes the same socialized disgust people have projected onto other queer people when they claim that our love is not appropriate for public spaces. It's a sentiment that tolerates queerness only if it stays within parameters, offering the kind of acceptance that comes with a catch. The middle-aged white men who I grew up with said they were fine with gay people as long as they wouldn't be subjected to PDA as long as all signs of queer love could be outwardly erased. Queer people's freedom to be themselves is according to the logic contingent and non-queer people's freedom from exposure to it. Contingent, I mean. <clears throat> you know what, I, I'm, I'm just not gonna go on anymore. Um, this woman is complete batshit insane. And um, yeah, I, what I'm reading is just a bunch of mumble jumble. Um, if you wonder why America and other um, parts within the world are going to be sort of messed up, it's because of people like this woman who uh, is, is exposing minors to... Uh, Let's just say uh, n adult stuff. Let's just let's go with that. Um, this is ridiculous, and this definitely makes me want. I want this lady to be investigated. I I want her to. I I, I just I want to understand why why she thought this was a great idea to post this. Why. She thought is thought this was a great idea to expose her children to this type of stuff. You know, it reminds me of a time four or five years ago when me and my um, friend, well, we uh, we were friends until this um, incident kind of happened like four or five years ago where me and her were talking about um, the pride parades an LGBTQ or whatever the hell you want to call it, um, that I said, I respect her because, you know, she, she was my friend, but I did not respect the that community because that community was known to do some crazy stuff. I don't hate the community. Let me get that, let me get that out there. That, that, is, that is a certain fact right there. I do not hate everyone in it. I'm fine with people being in it. But I'm not fine with people forced. I'm not fine with those when people within that community forcing people to um, to go with what they have. You don't force people to do to to watch something or look at something or participate in something. You just don't do that because that's gonna that's hurting your own that's hurting your image. 
you know, that's hurting what people, what other people are standing for. They're standing for equality. They're not standing for um, people to be su uh, subjected to uh, stuff that, you know, that's not for them. You just they just want people to they just want to live peacefully and when you force people into these things you're not it's not going to be peaceful and it's going to continue to uh make problems arise and with the addition of kids being exposed to that adult stuff you, um one needs to be investigated Someone needs to be investigated because this is not the right way to go. It has been proven, scientifically proven, that kids can become messed up if they are exposed to so much um, adult stuff. There's a reason why when uh, when you're at the movies or you're when you're watching a movie with um, you know with a kid and then a certain scene comes out you you shield their eyes you tell or you tell them to go to the other room until it's time to come out you know um and i'm mean like around like other family you know like family members and, and crap that happened to me a couple of times when um when i was a kid and a certain scene would come up and my my relatives would like, you know, basically tell me, hey, close your eyes and hey, you know, don't don't listen to anything. Don't watch anything until we tell you, you know, we give you a signal that it's fine, you know. So, you know, it's fine to open your eyes and that, and that scene is done and over with and we continue to watch the movie, you know. And you can you can call me a hypocrite for that part or whatever. But I mean, I, I mean, that was how that was how I was like. Um, sort of raised I wasn't exposed to that crap man I, I I wasn't this woman this oh my god this person is willingly exposing her kids to this kink stuff man I, I isn't this a form of uh, child abuse I mean, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not too knowledgeable about the whole CPS stuff, but I would think that this is a form of child abuse because, no man, no, no way. It's fine to take your kids to pride marches, but when you know that those type of people are going to be there, you. <laughs> you shouldn't bring the kids there that that's a, that should be common sense and i you know that's we live in the world today where common sense is not really a major factor anymore i think we need i think we need um like be more in touch with our uh nature um where the, the you know the natural law is where where um the people people who are how can i put this where people should be exiled certain people should be exiled let's just say that certain people should be exiled from uh, a group from the group because of uh reasons and i feel like we need to start doing that, man. And I'm not saying, like, we should kill people or not. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying exile, man. We need... We need to make this country better. We we need to have... A, a better community. Because people... Are just... People like this, like her... Are... Uh, are just ruining children's lives, man. And this is going to come back to haunt her. It is. I have a feeling that she... I have a feeling that she doesn't have a great relationship with her parents. I just have a feeling because I know it's that pattern. Um, I guess that's my rant for today, guys. Uh, 
really, really struggling to keep myself calm here because I, I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. I'm sickened by what I just read. I'm not going to read all of it. I can't. I can't. Especially when it's by the Washington Post. You know, and this isn't like me harassing anybody or telling people to go harass a person, you know, a person from the Washington. No, it's not that, man. It's just we need to be better by taking people like like that and just dealing with them accordingly, legally, lawfully. Like I said, no, no murdering, no killing, no. We need to we need to use um, the laws that we're, we were given and just use it on these type of people because they're not helping society. This is how this is how society dies. I think that's it, guys.